So here we just have some expressions that we're going to simplify. Now remember, simplify means eliminate all the parentheses and combine like terms. Now, you'll notice the parentheses that we have to begin with in this problem really aren't doing anything. The parentheses we have here at the end, if we had a plus sign in front, wouldn't be doing anything. But because we have a negative sign in front, yes, they do influence the problem. So we really don't need the parentheses around the first part. But for the second part, to get rid of the parentheses, we have to distribute through the negative. Because it's really plus a negative 1 here. So we got to basically multiply through by that negative 1. That changes all of our signs. Then we could go ahead and collect like terms. Now like terms are going to be those things that have the same exponents. So these would be like terms. And these would be like terms. And then the normal constants would also be like terms. Remember, constants are those that have no variables. So if we put those together, 2 of the a cubes plus the negative 1 of the a cubes is 1 of the a cubes. 5 of the a's plus 3 more of the a's is a total of 8 of the a's. And then we get our negative 9. So try to do this next one quickly by yourself. So we distribute. We get this collect our like terms. This one here, we just have to distribute through because it's a negative y times everything in the parentheses. So if we do that, we end up getting this here. We have no like terms because like terms have the same variables with the same exponents. We do have three terms with all the same variables, but the exponents are all different, so we do not have like terms top right one here, you have two terms times two terms, you might be thinking, oh, that's FOIL. Well, if you want to use that, but basically you got to take your 2p times your 4p and your 2p times your 1. So take the 2p times everything in the second set of parentheses. And we will get this. And then you got to take the next term in the first parentheses times each one in the second parentheses. And so 3 times the 4p and the 3 times the 1. And then collect any like terms if you have any. And in this case, our only like terms are the middle two terms. So we're going to have our 8p squared, our 2p, and our 12p, plus our 3. So once again, I had said before, you got when you're multiplying in between the parentheses, you need to go ahead and take your a squared times each one of these, Take your a, 3a times each one of these, and then you take your negative 4 times each one of these. So that's what we would need to do here. So our a squared times our a, our a squared times our 2. Then we have no, we can't take a squared times anything else over here, so we move on to the next term. Take 3a times that a. Take our 3a times our 2. Then we move on to the next term because 3a has been multiplied by everything over here. So the negative 4 times the a and the negative 4 times the 2. And then we can collect like terms. We have no other cube, so we'll just have our 1a cubed. Here, these are both a squareds. We can put those together, get a total of 5 of them. Here we have just normal a's, so we can put those together. We get 2a and we have a negative a. So try to pause the video and do the next three problems. Distribute through, and we get our answer. No like terms. We can FOIL or take the 3x times each one, and then take the 2 times each one. And then we only have like terms of the 3x and the 10x. Here we got to take the 2x times each one of these, the 3x times each one of these, and the negative 2 times each one of these. And then we can look for like terms. And we have our squares here, 4 of them, and 3 of them gives us a total of 7 of them. Normal x's, 12 of them minus 2 of them gives us 10 of them. And here we have a polar bear in the middle of a blizzard.